why don't you come into my snowbound shack and rest up in front of this typewriter for a month or two? Hmm. Yes, um, that's from Martin Chatterton, who is another author. I think he's trying to channel Kathy Bates there in Misery. You know, I imagine him with his sledgehammer waiting to break my knees. <laughs> Hi, Martin. Daniel West Stelic. Do you ever have dreams or nightmares involving your characters when writing about them? Yeah, I do, I do. Um, because I, I don't plot the books in advance and, and they're often first person present novels, I don't know what's gonna happen next. And when I get to that point in the story where you know, my main character, whether it be Joe O'Loughlin or, or, or someone else, when they're in incredible danger, um, I feel for them. I know, and I don't know how I'm gonna get them out. And uh, I have a lot of sleepless nights. And, um, and similarly, when I wrote, years ago when I wrote the book Shatter, from the point of view, part of it told from the point of view of the villain, I, um, I would go, I would finish writing and I would have a scalding hot shower and I would curl up in bed and want the voice to get out of my head. Um, because writing in the first person is like inhabiting someone else's skin, it's like an actor playing a character. And, um, and it can be quite traumatising if you're playing, if you're, you're writing about a really, you know, a horrible character who does horrible things. So I do have nightmares. Uh, my wife is always pleased when I finish a book because she says she gets me back. This is from Cheryl Clark. What is your best research story? Finding out something you totally didn't expect or that changed the story or made it better? Hmm. I should know whether, whether it made the story better. I think my favourite research story was when I wrote The Night Ferry, a, a penultimate scene, a very important scene, took place on a vehicle ferry in the middle of the North Sea, uh, one of the loneliest ferry journeys in the world. And I had to catch that ferry to do the research. And you could only get on that ferry if you had a vehicle. You couldn't go, get on as a foot passenger. So I hired a car in England. I drove onto a ferry. I went across to Rotterdam. I drove off. I waited for six hours. And that night, late at night, I caught the ferry back to England. And uh, I drove off the ferry having done all my research and I got to customs and immigration and they said, how long have you been away, sir? And I thought about it and thought, well, just the night really. And I said, uh, and where have you been? And I'd obviously been to Rotterdam. And I could tell that this was, this was looking very suspicious because Rotterdam is one of the drug capitals of Europe. And I thought, well, I better explain. I said, I'm a writer and I take my writing very seriously and, uh, and I feel as though I have to experience what I'm gonna write about. What's your novel about, sir? And I said, smuggling. At which point they took the hire car apart. The next four hours I stood and watched them take the seats out and the side panels out. And when I delivered this hire car back to the company, everything rattled. So um, that was probably one of the weirdest research stories. Vicky Petraeus. Could you get away with it? I think she means, could I commit a murder and get away with it? No, I am absolutely appalling. I, 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 have, um, I cannot lie. I mean, I, to quote Woody Allen, you know, if I stole second base, I'd feel guilty and go back. You know, that's me. You know, I'd be terrible at getting away with it. You know, um, no, I'm, you know, it's definitely not, definitely not.